Both the Xiaomi Mi Max 2 and the Asus Zenfone 4 Max are powerhouses when it comes to battery life. But is that all there is between the two? What if we compare them side by side to see how they fare against each other? Hey guys, this is Cesar from AndreaShaker.com and today we'll be here to compare both Xiaomi and Asus's respective battery-powered beasts, Xiaomi's Mi Max 2 and Asus's Zenfone 4 Max. As a phablet, the Mi Max 2 has a large 6.44 inch display which helps capture each detail that you can ask for in a phone. Obviously, the Mi Max 2 drops the Zenfone 4 Max in this aspect, the latter of which has a 5.5 inch display. Unlike the Mi Max 2, the top left corner of the Zenfone 4 Max has an LED notification, so if you're the type who finds flashing LED lights visually appealing, then I'd give it to Asus's Android phone for including this. The top part of the metal-covered Zenfone 4 Max has its earpiece, the 8MP front camera, and the LED flash, while its bottom half has three capacitive navigation keys, namely the back and overview buttons, found on both sides of the large home button in the middle, which also serves as the Zenfone 4 Max's fingerprint scanner. Meanwhile, the Mi Max 2 is also covered in a surprisingly thinner metallic unibody, with the cameras at the top half of the phone and three touch-based keys at the bottom half of the phone. Unlike the Zenfone 4 Max, the Mi Max 2 has a smaller home button that doesn't act as its fingerprint scanner, which is found at the back of the phone. Both the Mi Max 2 and the Zenfone 4 Max weigh more than most phones. But in terms of portability, the Zenfone 4 Max has the better deal, again with its smaller 5.5 inch display and its 181 gram weight, which makes it the heaviest among the Asus Zenfone 4 siblings. Oddly enough, Despite the Mi Max 2 being heavier on paper, it feels lighter compared to the Zenfone 4 Max, which I noticed after holding both in each hand. Meanwhile, the Mi Max 2 not only has the larger display, but a bigger bulk at 211 grams, which makes it harder for you to carry around, unless you happen to have big hands or long fingers. The Zenfone 4 Max has the upper hand in terms of camera specs. Compared to the Mi Max 2's 12 megapixel single lens camera, the Zenfone 4 Max dominates the camera department with its 13 megapixel dual lens rear camera, which the Zenfone 4 Max can also use to take wide angle shots. Likewise, the Mi Max 2 has a 5 megapixel front camera, while the Zenfone 4 Max has a better 8 megapixel front facing camera. Both cameras on both phones work pretty well in low lit conditions. Though from what I have experienced between the two, the Mi Max 2 ran its camera app more smoothly compared to the Zenfone 4 Max's, which may be attributed to its better processor. Although both are powered by Android OSs, the Mi Max 2 comes with Xiaomi's Mi UI 8, which works well with the Mi Max 2's powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 chipset. Likewise, the Zenfone 4 Max comes with Asus's latest Zen UI 4.0, which has a pretty good interface and feels smooth for a phone that runs using the less powerful Snapdragon 430. We got the following benchmark results after conducting various tests using benchmarking tools. Battery life is where both battery power houses shine the most. Using the Medina Shaker battery rating, we can confirm that Xiaomi's Mi Max 2 has a total battery lifespan of 65 hours and 20 minutes, while Asus's Handphone 4 Max's battery life lasts up to 63 hours and 12 minutes. In this case, the Mi Max 2 can give you 2 additional hours of battery life, but the fact that the Zenfone 4 Max can grant you an amount of battery life close to that of a phablet is impressive. In terms of sound, both phones sound relatively okay. The Zenfone 4 Max's speakers are located somewhere at the bottom half of the phone, which I think might be a problem if you need to talk to someone on the phone in the middle of a large crowd. The Mi Max 2 speakers, however, are pretty loud and you can hear the audio resonate through the phone, which means receiving calls in noisy places wouldn't be a problem. The Mi Max 2 comes in either 64GB or 128GB worth of internal memory with 4 gigs of RAM. Meanwhile, Asus's Zenfone 4 Max comes only in 32 gigs of internal memory with 3 gigs of RAM. Personally, both phones are great in their own ways, but it truly depends on what you need your phone to do. In terms of battery life, the Mi Max 2 wins hands down, although the Zenfone 4 Max is no slouch in the department either, considering how its battery life is only missing 2 hours worth of battery power. 
Camera wise, however, I give it to the Zen 1 4 Max for boasting high battery power and good dual lens cameras. Its camera is considered basic compared to its other Zen 1 4 siblings, but between this and the Mi Max 2, the former wins in this department. And in terms of portability, I'd say the thinner Mi Max 2 would do great if you're willing to carry it around and not put it inside your pocket, considering that it's a phablet. But if you're the type that's picky enough to want to carry a more compact phone with an equally great battery power, no matter how stockier it feels, then the Zenfone 4 Max wins this round. The Xiaomi Mi Max 2 and the Asus Zenfone 4 Max are available in local and online stores. The Mi Max 2 costs 15,500 pesos, while the Zenfone 4 Max is worth 9,995 pesos. If you like this video, hit that like button below, subscribe, and once again, go check out our other videos. This has been Caesar of Mandel Shaker, and thank you for watching. Till then.